Hey there, YouTubers. Grady here. Junker Clunkers. I forgot to make an intro on this video. But, quick rundown. Uh, this video is going to be a little different because it's something I... Parts of it is something I didn't film um, today. But, I did film it at uh, this past winter. I did a 95 Jeep Wrangler YJ uh, build. So it is a mechanical restoration. Uh, the body still needs to be done, but mechanically, this vehicle was completely gone through. Uh, you'll see in the video, uh, we've gone from the fuel system to the brake system to the, the engine. We did not touch a transmission transfer case. Uh, we did technically touch the differential. But all that stuff was good, so we just cleaned up those parts, uh, put fresh fluid in them, and uh, put them back together, per se. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. It is a little bit longer, so please, if you got to break it up into a couple of segments for yourself, please do so. But it is a video that you definitely want to watch all the way through in order to get the full effect of how much work actually went into this thing. I'm telling you, I worked on this thing for an entire winter uh, for this guy, and I think it turned out killer. So I would really appreciate it if you guys could watch all the way till the end. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. This is obviously when it got uh, brought to the shop. Uh, this is the motor we got that didn't end up working out. Going to show a couple of pictures of the Jeep itself. Some parts. So this is uh, showing the motor still in the Jeep. And we're draining what was left in the oil pan as you can clearly see that's that's all coolant very little uh very little oil came out and um yeah so that motor's definitely junk later on you'll see a couple of clips it threw a rod blew the head it, catastrophic failure happened inside this motor very sad uh, from what I know about these Jeep motors, they're pretty indestructible. Uh, I personally have a Grand Cherokee 2001 and a uh, very, very tough motor. And it's also a 4 0. This is when we're getting ready to pull the motor. Uh, apparently, the uh, there was a rod that was thrown. When we uh, went to drain that oil, there was no oil. It was all coolant. Motor coming out. Motor on the ground. Motor, motor, motor. This is the internals of the motor. We need to get some bolts we need for the new motor. And uh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's not good. Here's just some rings and that's great. wrist pin. I'm guessing pieces of oh. the piston. Hello. Yep. This is just a overview picture showing you all the uh, old damaged parts, brake lines are junk, um, boosters junk, hoses are junk. This is the four and a half inch rough country lift. So as you can see here, uh, we're just cleaning the frame, uh, uncovering a lot of 
defects in the frame. A lot of rot that we ended up fixing, as you'll see in the next couple clips. One of the best tools right here, Descaler. Expensive, but if you're going to do this more than once, definitely pick one up. This is going to show you some pictures of the, uh, the frame. How bad the frame was. It was extremely in bad shape. Let me tell you, I had a guy come in here uh, that speci specializes in welding. And he was here for, uh, uh, what, two days? And uh, he knocked it out. Did a phenomenal job. As you'll see in the next couple pictures coming up. You could just see how badly rotted this thing was. These pictures don't do it justice. Um, this gentleman had uh, somebody else do some patches, and it just didn't hold up. He didn't end up doing them right, as you can see there. It just it just re rotted and made a worse of a mess. But uh, we were able to take care of all the all the rot issues on the vehicle. Uh, at least the frame. Um, he the the customer actually is working on doing uh, the body himself that's the tube in the front that ended up being rotted and uh, he fixed that the gentleman that, that did the welding for me and most of these these spots you see are common to the YJ's uh, I'm not sure if, uh, if you know about YJ's but uh, if you do, you know that these are common spots, and you can actually get uh, weld-on caps, pieces of frame. Um, I'll see if I can find the the link to them and put that down in the description if I find it. Uh, but we ended up purchasing a rear one uh, just because of the the amount of fabrication just wasn't going to be uh, feasible fun-wise. You can see how bad this was. This was terrible. That was what that previous guy did, just butted it up and just wasn't good. But, ta-da! As you can see, she's in uh, great shape now. This is just a video of us cleaning it. I uh, ended up borrow, uh, renting a steamer. And cleaning the frame and the body and everything so we could do pour 15. Uh, it was definitely a, a good project trying to clean up, uh, you know, 25, 30 years of of crud. But it got it got done after several, I don't know, probably about 15, 20 hours of cleaning. There's the pour 15. I'm not a sponsor, but I'll tell you, it is a hell of a product. It encapsulates the rust, stops it, right in its tracks, and it, it just looks awesome, too. A bit of a pain to try and get off yourself or, or like, your glasses or <laughs> your beard, like my brother got it on, on his beard and had to shave his beard off. Uh, I got it all over my glasses, so did he. And uh, I'll tell you, it doesn't come off. We also did the firewall in Pour 15. Just made it look a lot cleaner because there was uh, quite a bit of rust that had been starting on it. We wanted to try and save the body and the tub the best we could. And just pictures of, uh, you know, bad flywheel. There's the old junk motor. That was a different motor, actually. Uh, ended up uh, being extremely. Uh, rusty inside it was just it was it was gross we also went ahead and replaced all the steering components uh, and what we didn't replace we restored as you can see in the pictures here this is a, a different air filter but we went with a K&N air filter replaced all the u-joints all the steering components all the suspension components. I actually ended up buying a, uh, a new flare kit, hydraulic one, absolutely love it. 
this is the bumper that the customer ended up going with. And here's the brand new rebuilt motor. <laughs> uh, it's a 4.7, but it's a 4.0 block. Board, cammed, all the good stuff in it. Killer motor, absolute killer motor. Plenty of power. Uh, O'Reilly's actually had it for like $3,500. I believe you get $500 back when you give them the old junk motor. Um, but definitely the best option. Best option to go with. And uh, this is just me painting all these parts, cleaning them up, restoring them, putting the four hole injectors in. Um, new brakes and rotors all around, rear brakes. Uh, we went from drum to disc. That was a pretty easy install kit. There's the motor on the stand. There's those four hole injectors. I'm not sure what millimeter that was. I want to say it was 52. We went with a spacer and a, a bigger intake. I think the motor turned out killer also. Here she is going back together. Motor and, and flywheel and clutch and whole assembly. There she is in. All right, this is the break in. First part was the additives and such. So we're going to hopefully bring it up to 25 RPM just by screwdriver sitting in, hopefully, like that. And here we go. So this video goes on for about 20 minutes because uh, I had to break in the motor. 2500 RPMs at 20 minutes. Uh, then you shut her off, let her sit and cool. And uh, at that point I changed the oil um, for the first time with Ames oil as a sink additive. Great break in oil and then we ended up putting fresh, fresh um, Ames oil in it again. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And then uh, then we're able to button it back up. Things I wish I would have thought about and done at the time was um, plug up all the air leaks. The vehicle ran a little rough. I didn't want to put the intake on just because I wanted to be able to control the, uh, the throttle. I thought by putting a screwdriver in there it would be good. But unfortunately my buddy ended up sitting in the cab of the, the Jeep for the full 20 minutes. And... Uh, yeah, but as you can hear, she, she ran great. The new brake lines ran. Didn't have very many good pictures of that, but I, I did all custom, custom bends by hand. Turned out really good. Here's that rear brake conversion. I do, I do have other videos uh, of the, uh, the uh, brake conversion. So if you want parts, lists, and stuff like that, go back to my uh, my videos about eight months ago. Rear brakes turned out awesome. Thing stops on a dime. Uh, yeah, we did a Super 40 Flowmaster. There she is, just about ready to roll. In the next couple pictures, you're going to see a product called NH Undercoaters. It's just an oil undercoater that uh, that sticks to uh, mainly rusty, unpainted areas. 
I think it came out really well, um, and I just seen the vehicle for the first time in several months here uh, today, and it it looks just like the day that I sprayed it. So this part of the video is uh, me pulling it out of the garage for the first time, and uh, we're gonna fast forward a little bit here. All this is is the uh, basically first move with uh, all the new components in it, and uh, as you can see, we'll be checking it out. Making sure there's no leaks, no no problems, just stuff like that. And then the last couple pictures are uh, when we put the uh, 35s on, and then when the uh, fenders went on. station about a half a mile away from the house do, 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 where are we that's what 20 bucks will get you from empty my friend we're gonna go out testing giving her some runs see how she does today and this is the last clip that I have uh, we did a bunch of testing for about two weeks before I gave it back to the gentleman uh, everything went great. As you're going to see in the next clip uh, is a quick one of a uh, first oil change that he just brought it back in. And uh, it's him, him and I bantering back and forth. Hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, Alright guys. Wanted to uh, do a quick walk around on this one. 
I actually did this Jeep uh, back this winter. It sat on the on the lift for several months. Just wanted to do a walkthrough and show what we did. Uh, four and a half. We did four and a half, right? Yeah. Yeah, four and a half inch rough country lift. All new U joints. All new brake setup. We had to patch the frame in several spots, as you can see. And we pour 15 the whole thing. <clears throat> and then after that was all done, we did uh, uh, NH undercoaters, 35s on it. Let's see if I can trip over everything. Aftermarket bumper. Love the bumper. Fenders. You remember what the fenders were called? Uh, yeah, I don't either. <laughs> Never got the the rock sliders. We're talking about that. Yeah. Like I said, I get the rear fenders, then I'll have to work on the rock sliders on the side. It's little things I gotta finish. Yep. Seat covers. Finish the rock liner. Drive shaft. Yeah, we got the Adams drive shaft. It's still got to go into it. That's a little bit of work. The tub still needs a little bit of love, but what project vehicle doesn't need something, right? And we did, what did we do for exhaust? We did a Flowmaster Super 40, I believe. Yeah. In the process of doing its first oil change. First actual oil change, I guess you'd say. Because it has break-in oil, had break-in oil in it. So suspension, all new U-joints, tie rods, ball joints, everything. Suspension was, was upgraded. And then we got what looks like a 4.0 block, but it's actually a 4.7 been bored cammed gosh I'm trying to remember everything we did to it <laughs> um, new valve cover this is actually a 30 no that was a 52 millimeter throttle body wasn't it Spacing in no we did we did a throttle body and then a spacer I think it was 52, but I can't honestly remember. k and air filter setup. Uh, four hole injectors. Oh gosh, what else we do? Uh, upgraded uh, booster and master. I custom did all the brake lines by hand. And uh, I'll see if we can try and get a shot. We switched over to disc in the rear. It's kind of hard to see in there, but disc in the rear. See all these patches. You can't see them all, but there's quite a few you can see. That was a patch there. We had to patch there. And a patch there. And a few patches on it now. Quite a few patches. But she's all solid now. Like a tank. But wanted to do just a quick video because we didn't actually videotape this one. I did slideshows and actually I have a couple more videos I need to go out to be honest with you. For the final product. Ended up getting a different phone at that time and yeah. hopefully I didn't lose any footage. But 
that was last winter's project. Maybe if he goes up uh, into the woods like he said he was going to, he could record a little bit and we'll put it up on the channel. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, no, if I get some time this fall. A friend of mine keeps trying to get me to go to a um, place up north. He goes and takes his four-wheelers. Yep. But they bring Jeeps up there, up road in. Some place up there, some group, I guess. He's trying to get me to go up that way. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm up that way. I imagine this thing would, would be an absolute tank in the, in the woods. In the woods. But you got to get that winch on there. And yeah, this is a hijack lift and a few different yep. things I want to finish up. Got to tighten the steering wheel up today. I got to disconnect the battery to do that. So you got to pop up the horn cap. I had that horn, horn cap pop off on me once before and forget the horn going off and you can't get it back on. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. Yeah. You said you don't want to be recorded, right? No. What's that? The Jeep is. <laughs> well, it's always cool because you you know you're the owner, right. or or the caregiver of this vehicle now. Right. <laughs> yeah. She turned out. I, I think she turned out killer. It was an absolute honor working on this one. I yeah, there's another patch here. <laughs> yeah, that was a good patch. Yeah. yeah. And then that guy that did your your patches before, he just hacked them together. Yeah, that was sad. That was really sad. Yeah, he was the one that came to my house today. The first time I got it, the out of the path. Yeah. Well, since you've owned this, it's the most solid it's ever been. Oh, yeah. You said you paid what, four hundred bucks for this? You said four hundred bucks. And I got I got some pictures. Maybe I can I can find to show what happened to the uh, original motor. Right. I had a. Oh, with the blowout. Yeah, that had a good size, uh, good size hole in the side of it. Yeah, no. And then that that second motor we were gonna, or that well, the first motor I was gonna put in it. Rusted out. It was good. It was so gummy. I'm, I'm really glad you ended up going new, going brand new, and and you said the power on this is crazy, right? Yeah, and this is a five-speed. So guys at the shop, when they inspected it, they said, it's not a 4.2. And I said, no, it's a 4.7. And they never even heard of the 4.7. You got a hell of a deal on the motor, too. I mean, seriously. Because right. remember, we were going we were gonna to build that other motor. And that was going to be, what was it, like $6,500? Right, right, right. And that wasn't going to get us everything. That was just that was just basically getting the block to where it needed to be. And Yeah, it was $3,500. And you get $500 back when you... When you get back the old motor, I think it was. Yep. No, it's definitely a killer, killer Jeep. You don't see them a heck of a lot anymore, at least up here in New Hampshire, because the the rot takes over, and unfortunately, the old junk pile. People don't use them; they just use them off road. Yep. And then we found that uh, we found that place that actually makes the panels. Right. That was really nice for the rear. That was really nice to have in the rear because it was that that was a that was a hard angle for the prefab fenders. Yep. Yep. But it looks like everything's holding up really good. Yeah. And the oil didn't look too bad. It was still red. You said you got what four or five hundred miles on it. About that. Yeah. Yep. So we'll we'll finish up with the oil change here and now. get him on his way. We did put some uh, in before. Yeah that top off. But there's been no leaks, no hiccups. I so. haven't seen any. The only thing I saw was that tire down there. Oh, oh the the, the axle, yeah. That's the only thing I ever see. Yeah. From. We'll Everything have to get that I taken care of. Anything. And you've wrapped a line to most of the inside? Yep. Whole floor. Wrapped a liner is definitely a great product, I'll tell I you. I know, I got some more jars of it at home. Yep. I bought a nice face mask when I do it so I don't breathe it. This is Are you spraying it? it? No, I rolled it on. Roll it, yeah. It's easy to roll it. Yeah. And then I have to spray it and I have to take everything apart. It's a Jeep. I don't care too much. You know, <laughs> if I get a little bit here or there. Uh, yep. Uh, trap the liner. These are these are solid. Yeah. I think my buddy Zach's the one that told us about these. I don't remember what company this was, but damn. That is solid. <laughs> get those rock sliders on there, that'll look even better. You get those rear ones that look like these on there. Yeah, in the rear. Finish it up a little bit. You think you're going to do some lights on the top or anything? I would like to. 
maybe do you, you want to do the pods on the on the side of the uh, glass there or do you want to do lights up top i don't know maybe up top yeah i know the, the thing is i do switch you know from hard top you know because i won't put that back on until it gets too cold i mean we could build a bracket that comes out that would wouldn't be in the way too right keep it out of the way of the hard top going back on during the winter and then it just depends on what size are you gonna go with kc's yeah 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 put four of those up there nobody would nobody know what's coming <laughs> they always they complain about the bumper lights right really now. Too for them. turn those on for me right. just don't start it no oil in it oh yeah they complain about them when i'm driving i know i get high beams all the time because with those on in my headlight they make um leds that replace the whole the whole whole top lights he just just never gonna get another look like that. A little up on it. It's funny because once uh, one direction on one way, I must have hooked it up wrong. Not that side. Oh, it's not on. Um, one directional will blinker. Turn the bumper light will go the blinker. Oh, probably just the ground. Yeah, something I must have did wrong with it. Yeah, it's probably just the ground. Yep, but she's an absolute killer, killer machine now. Long trips. Brent, I need the other bucket, quick. Yep. Quick. Yeah, I'm coming. I have to walk down the side of the hill. Bella, get out of his truck. Bella. Yeah. Drink this if I'm in and out, we're going. Yeah. You got oil pressure? Yeah, go ahead and shut her down. What's that? Yep, that's about normal when she's kind of kind of sort of cold it's at a little bit of an angle right now yeah yeah, yeah i was gonna say you, you check your own oil anyhow yeah. looks like we're up there it's so darn clean it's, hard to see. it's so hard to see because it's clean well the motor is still brand new just, just a few hundred miles on it Looks like we're at the ad safe, but we're also at an angle, so okay. I would just check it again. Six six quarts should be correct for this this same size motor because it's the same it's the same everything as far as size. Okay. So that's her. But I went and got my my first eye appointment in 10 plus years. Nice. So. Get a coffee and try to the cruise. Run the new oil in it. Absolutely. I really appreciate you bringing it in, no man. Problem, it's great seeing her. Yeah. Um, Glad yeah. to see it's going well. I'll send you, send me some links and I'll send you that anyway. Absolutely. Yeah, like I said, you can get you can get most of that stuff online a lot cheaper than you yeah. can because it's it's a new it's car. A, I don't know if I want to deal with them. Anymore. Yeah, that's no. where I bought it, but it was built an auto car. I, I haven't heard great things about them, but I've been hearing reviews aren't that good. I don't like to talk shit about other companies, right. personally, right. but <laughs> you know. Enjoy the rest of your day. You as well, man. Just remember that mileage so you know what you got. Yeah. yeah so we're gonna set it up. Right now I think yeah, I think I'm just over five hundred on it. I know 
nurse when she first starts, she'll be cold and she'll rough run for a minute. She'll go and come back down and then just go. Yeah, it, it, I think that we have to we have to uh, send the program to the computer, remember? Uh, I don't mind. It, it, it tells me when she's ready to go. Yeah. So I don't go until she gets past the rough stage of her. Yeah. You know? Hey, we'll talk to you later. Thank you very much, man. See you, bud. I'll see you. See you. Yes, sir. Right, guys as you saw that is a uh, a project that I absolutely enjoyed doing and uh, I appreciate him bringing it back for me to check out and uh, do the first oil change on it and um, yeah so Bella don't drink that that's oil dogs but yeah so I hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed that video uh, a little bit of a uh, insight to stuff that I've done in the past. Unfortunately, I didn't record that one. It was a very long process, a lot of uh, uh, guessing and and whatnot. But I can still hear it. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys have a great day. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.